hello everyone so finally we will begin the fun part we will be doing the lighting so we will illuminate this entire scene and let's see how it goes so the first thing is uh, okay uh, this is not going to be confusing or messing up with a lot of values to adjust very simple straightforward easy all right so the first thing I would like to bring, this is the, the, the good thing about Corona, okay? The Corona renderer. So the first thing I would like to do is bring in my sunlight. Okay, this is a daytime scene. So I will go to my top view, F3. And from the toolbar here, that says add Corona sun, click. And then let's say click and drag. And when you let go of your mouse, it's trying to adjust the height of the sun. So let's just pick something here. Right click. And let's go to the front view. And then let's adjust it. Let's adjust it a little bit. Now, if I go to my camera view. And let's add, click on this add corona sky environment. Just click this. Say yes fine let's start rendering and then let's see how it goes all right so I will use this interactive rendering okay click interactive rendering nothing is coming strange so I think there is a mistake okay so I checked it so this is a mistake and what we did is we forgot to put material to our glazing so it's blocking the light okay so let's give a material you can give a material glass material let's say reflection and refraction this is just for the glass give a name glass sorry <coughs> we missed it okay and the frame what finish should I give let me try this for now now let's try our interactive rendering hopefully okay cool so this is already looking very good best part of corona see so now what we can do is we can start to adjust as you can see this is burning over here let's try to increase the value let's give it 10 that's much better and this is already rendering as you can see this smiley face rotating so let me select my sunlight okay I'll close this where is my sunlight so select this and I will give it a name sun yeah that's very creative so the reason I did it so I can easily access it by just clicking sun and then I can adjust the value so Let's start our interactive rendering and let's play with the intensity. Intensity is fine. Let's add in, let's soften the shadow. So if we increase the size, let's see the effect. Yeah much better now and one more thing we can try to do is adjust the positioning of the uh, sunlight to see which direction is giving us the good result okay so let me close this for now and what I would like to do is Alt W so we are in this four views so 
So if I select the sun from here, I would like to adjust and see the rendering changes. So the way we can do this is lock. Okay, this. Okay, click this. Right click here. So this is saying our camera name. So we can just lock it. Now, if I am in this view and start rendering, it will still consider the camera view for rendering. Okay. Now, if I change the position of the sun and let's see which direction we like. Maybe this side. Okay, so if I just press right click, so it will stick to the original position. Fine, this is fine. So if we adjust the height, let's see what happens. And if we go down further, such so like we are setting the sun. So we get more light coming in. That's to your personal liking, how you want. If you like this. Yeah, so let's keep it to where it was before. Now, the next part is, as you can see, uh, let me just do a, as you can see, we don't see a clear indication where the ceiling end, where the wall meets the ceiling. So for that, we can use the help of ambient occlusion. But we will do that. The way we will do it is we'll go to the render elements and add it. Add. Oh. I have added already so let me delete it so I will add this again add texture CT text map and come down scroll down texture map so click on this and we can select from the corona corona AO double click it where is it? Yeah, so open your material editor. Okay. And then just click and drag. I had it already, but I'll, I'm doing it again. Click OK. Now I need to adjust the value. I, I, let's, let's say 5. Number 5. Okay, so if I do... Uh, render again interactive render and let's come over here click this and click on texture map now you can see the results so if I increase the value let's say 10 it will become it will increase the range if I say 30 yeah if you really need fine line, maybe you can just enter one. Something like that. Okay. So just keeping it a little bit less. Okay, we can go with number five. And then that we can use this in photo editing program to enhance this. But now, what we need to do is so this is our render as you can see it's already looking good uh, let me do a render and i will show it to you okay so before i do that let me bring up the setting very simple this one if i make it noise yeah if you reduce it the more you reduce the more better but anyways i'll just keep it three for now and we have a denoiser. So just select this and say high quality. That's it. And I can 
put it to render and then let's see the result after a little while okay click render okay so the rendering is finished and the only thing i forgot was to copy the side lamp to the other side so that's all i did is copied and then i did the rendering that's the only thing i forgot to do but now it's done and the render is finished so this is what we get and so now i will take it to the photo editing so uh, click copy control c or just click copy so i will come here and I will paste it okay so this is pasted this is just the copy of Photoshop you can still use the feature that I will be using so let's click the beauty here and then change this to CT texture map and this is to get the ambient occlusion so again copy and then we will paste it control V okay so now we have this layer for the ambient occlusion and the the render itself fine so what I will do now turn this off and then duplicate this layer duplicate so just I don't mess with the original so the first thing I will do is go to filter sharpen and unsharp mask and change the value to 40 and 10 okay just to enhance it so you can see the difference if I turn this off off and on there's a slight difference there now I can turn on my ambient occlusion layer and let's change this to from normal to multiply now you can see it's very dark so reduce this to let's say 20 or maybe 15 something like this so this is the result so hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching if you like it hit hit the like button and subscribe and see you next time bye bye